Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Salesforce Space Station. In today's episode, Leah is gonna run you through how you can approve a record inside Salesforce simply by responding to the email notification that you're gonna receive. Now, if you like this content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button just so you can keep up to date with all the other Salesforce tutorials we've got coming for you. Salesforce Space Station. Hi guys, in this video, we are going to set up an email approval response wherein a user or people on the executive level can simply approve a record by replying to the email notification. So the first thing that we need to do is to enable email approval response by going to setup. All right, so from the quick find, just type in process automation. Click on process automation settings. So in here, you just need to make sure that the enable email approval response checkbox is checked. And when you enable the email approval response, Salesforce uses a default email template for approval processes, unless you specify a custom email template. And for you to be able to create a custom email template, you need to um, create it from the classic email templates. Click on classic email templates. You can create a new template or you can also use an existing email template. So in this case, I've already created one. So the name of the email template is lead approval template. So let me open this up. All right. So as you can see, I've added here the lead name, the annual revenue, and also put some notes and um, ex an example. All right. So um, another prerequisite is we need to create an approval process. So let's go to approval process. Click on approval process. So in here, I've already created one. The name of the approval process is lead approval process two. So make sure that you've um, enabled the active checkbox. And in here, um, I've also um, used the criteria annual revenues greater than 100,000. And I've also set up the email template, which is the lead approval template, which I showed you um, earlier. And the assign approver is the manager. So let's go ahead and test this. Let me um, open up one lead record. So in here, for us to be able to meet the criteria, we need to update the annual revenue to 150,000. Click save, All right? Next thing is you need to click on submit for approval button. And I'm gonna put, a comment right here all right and then click on submit all right now you can go ahead and check your email so the assigned manager will receive an email notification for the approval request okay let me go to my email All right, so I got an email notification from Salesforce. So it's showing me the lead record, the annual revenue, as well as the um, notes that um, if you wish to reply to email approval request, then type approve or reject in, in the first line and adding comments in the second line. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on reply. So this is actually convenient because um, you can go ahead and approve um, a request by simply replying and approve and you may also add a comment. Click on send button. All right, now let's go back to the uh, record or the lead record. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refresh this page and let's see if this record has already been approved. All right, great. So it worked. So as you can see, um, what time is it? So it's already 1.05. And as you can see, the date and time here is 1.04 p.m. So um, it worked. 
All right, so that's how we set up approval via email in Salesforce. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.